Well, they're all well, well coached, uh, you know, well conditioned, uh, well taught in the, the game of football. So they, they've all been very impressive, and uh, um, you know, I think they have bright futures ahead of them. How many of these produce have you been to so far, and how many do you plan to travel to? Well, this is actually my first. Uh, I don't get involved a whole lot. Uh, I'm going to one other one uh, later in the week, and uh, after that, that's about all I get out. Uh, Nick's a, a close friend and you know, a guy I have a great respect for, so I try to get around to see uh, you know, his teams in the past, and, uh, of course, he had a very good one here last year. Again, the draft is an unusual bird, and that uh, you never know how it's going to, you know, uh, unfold. And um, you just kind of look at guys that you think are good football players, and uh, you know, the draft takes care of itself. Numbers are always important when it comes to the NFL, but how much do you guys take into stock the college playing days? Because sometimes guys don't necessarily perform at a precise point when they need to show some numbers. Well, it's a little bit like from high school to college. I mean, it's a level jump. It's different. Uh, you know, it is a level jump. Uh, the season's longer. You know, the NFL is built to be, you know, competitive and have parity throughout. So uh, it's a little bit different. I'd liken it a little bit to a good high school player. You might see whether or not he's going to make it to Alabama or not. And talk about numbers, how big was 348 for Terrence Cody? Yeah, I can't get into specifics about those types of things. All right. Thanks, Thanks guys.